out of all heat engines working between two certain temperatures. There is one kind that is the most efficient. It can be proven that no heat engines can be more efficient than a carnal or ideal engine. A carnal engine is a theoretical idea. There are no real working carnal engines. A carnal engine follows the Carnot cycle. Each carnal cycle involves two isothermal processes and the two the adiabatic processes. The Carnot cycle runs between the two temperatures Th and Tl. These are two isothermal curves. Every single state on this curve has a temperature Th. Every single state on this curve has a temperature Tl. The cycle starts at state A. It goes through isothermal expansion and then adiabatic expansion and then isothermal compression and then adiabatic compression back to state A. From A to B, it's an isothermal process. So the gas cylinder is placed in a heat reservoir with temperature Th. When the gas expands, in order to maintain constant temperature, it has to absorb heat, and that's the QH. And then B to C, that's the adiabatic process. That means we have to now put the gas cylinder in a very well insulated environment, so there is no heat exchange. Because the gas now has to expand without absorbing heat, its temperature decreases, so the temperature drops, while the gas expands, the piston gets pulled upward. Then we start another isothermal process. C to D, the gas gets compressed, the piston gets pushed down to compress the gas while keeping at a constant temperature, which means now the cylinder is in contact with a heat reservoir with temperature Tl. When we compress the gas while keeping the temperature the same, the gas has to lose heat, so it gives off heat QL. And then we switch to adiabatic process. Put the gas cylinder in a very well insulated environment so there is no heat exchange. And then we put, push the piston down to compress the gas further. Because uh, the gas gets compressed, without heat exchange, its temperature goes up and goes back up to Th and back to state A. And then the Carnot cycle can repeat over and over again. In each Carnot cycle A, B, C, D, A, heat QH enters the engine at a high temperature Th. Heat QL leaves the engine at low temperature Tl. The area inside the cyclic process is the work done by the engine. Since energy is conserved, QH equals to W plus QL. There are no real Carnot engines because the Carnot cycle requires the gas to be in equilibrium all the time. This requires the expansion and the compression of the gas to be carried out extremely slowly, which deems the Carnot engine impractical. The carnal or ideal efficiency can be found using this expression, Th minus Tl divided by Th, where both the temperatures have to be in kelvins. We're not going to derive this expression in this course, but you should know this result and know how to use it. Notice that this expression is very similar to the efficiency equation for all heat engines. If you replace the heat Q with temperature T, you will get this Carnot efficiency equation. We will work on sample problems in the next videos.